I'm thinking that I'd like to put some of the blue, the turquoise um, there in the background. So let's see, I'm gonna get my brayer. Where is it? to start. Thank you. 
this is going to look like Molly. And so you're probably joining me in anticipation of, of seeing what this is gonna look like. Well, so am I, but I'm confident. I keep saying that because I am confident. Um, today I thought that first of all, I'm gonna start doing something with the background. Um, I was looking at my portrait, my latest portrait of um, Wesley that I did. See the background? I love these colors. It started out something like, like this. So I'm pretty confident I can do, I don't want it to, I don't want to duplicate it like exactly, but I do like these colors. And uh, since she's a female, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of pink. Her collar is going to be pink. I sketched it in last night. So I'm gonna put a little bit more pink on the background than I did on Wesley. And I also like purple and yellows and greens and reds. So I will play with it and I'll show you how I do it. So I still have to do her fur up in here. And that'll really bring her out to look more like her. But first I wanna do something with the background. So what I did was I put out the colors, my colors that I'm hoping to use. Um, I put, I like the color purple. So I make my own purple usually and I mix uh, cad red medium and ultramarine blue and that makes purple. Red and blue makes purple. So, oh, I forgot to put the color white. Here you go. I've got to get some more white. Notice what Wesley did. He got a hold of my white paint and he put a hole through it. So that's how I'm getting my white. And I'm running out of it, so I need to get some more. But, um, okay, so what I did was, okay, the the red and the, and the blue, ultramarine blue, I mixed it up, mixed purple. And um, if you add a little white to it, it brings, you can really see more of a violet. Oops. Yeah. And you, you can keep adding white to it and get it the shade that you want, the blue or the purple. And there you go. It's kind of fun. All right, but first of all, I usually do this with my fingers even. I'm going to, I'm gonna get some of this liquid. Okay, this liquid, it's from Winster, Windsor and Newton Liquid. It uh, helps the uh, paint, the oil paint to dry faster. Okay, I like that. That way I don't have to wait days and days for my next layer. So I'm going to get this, um, I'm using this burnt sienna. Okay, and I dipped it a little bit in the liquid and I'm going to put it on my finger. Okay. And I'm just going to put it in certain areas. Just kind of smooth it in. I can use like that. Just kind of rub it in different areas. And I just play with it until I I get it to where I really like what I'm seeing. And then the same thing goes with the um, the other colors, okay? Like this purple that I mixed up. I'm just gonna rub it in there. And it gets in between the crevices of the um, the paint texture that the, bra the brayer created. using small amounts of paint because the area 
what's going to be covered isn't very big. And I'm going to mix up some pink, which is red and white. A lot more white than red. I made some pink, some pink for Molly. And this will probably be the color of her collar. This area here is going to be covered by um, her hair, her fur, the top of her hair, head. So I'm not going to worry too much about this area, but some of it might peek through. So it's good to cover it a little bit. I also like to do the, um, the edges a little darker. I like giving it like a vignetting look. I should probably be doing this with gloves on. But I'm just lazy. I just want to get to it. If I had thought about it, I would have gotten the gloves. Look at my hands. But it's kind of like finger painting when you were a child. It's kind of fun to be messy sometimes. Okay, let me try some orange. Little bits of orange. I'm running out of the liquid. There you go. Let's see what it looks like with a little bit of pop. I just love how it brings out that crackly look. Some people don't like the look of crackle, but I do. I love the look of crackle. I love to um, distress furniture and give it that crackly look. My client, Molly's mom, I asked her if she wanted the background any special color, and she told me to do what I wanted. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what I want. Probably, let's see, try some red. I love the color red. I love red lipstick, red dresses, red sweaters. And I don't know what it is about red, but I've always liked it. 
So there we go, a little splash of red turned into pink when it blended with the white. There we go, just a little bit here. And there. And then a lot of this is going to be covered by her fur. So at least, let's see. I'm anxious to get to this area up here in her head because that's really going to bring her out. Her eyes are not done, neither, neither is her nose. But it'll get there. Let's see, I love this. Uh, this is a burnt uh, sienna. I love this color, burnt sienna. All right, so that's gonna be it for now, okay? All right, I'm gonna start on her head. Try to finish that. So I'm going to try this brush, I think this is the brush that I was using. I use, um, this is a, um, I think it's a, it's a bright, it's a bright, a number two bright, and I'm using mostly the tip of the brush. So I'm going to start with black, okay, let me put that on my palette. goes. I go in the direction of her hair, of her fur, that I see in the picture. And of course, Wesley wants out. I guess I'm going to have to pause it so I can let my Wesley out. Okay, I'll be right back. change brushes. I think the, the little hairs are um, a little bit too thick. It's not getting the look that I want. So here we go. I have to be very light. Try not to press too hard. I'm just painting more or less what I see. It's not going to be exact. 
I um I like impressionistic art. I don't know what you would call this. Um, it's not uh, realistic. Oh, you know, it's not completely realistic. Somewhat impressionistic. It's a uh, in between. There's probably a word for it, but I don't know what it is. <clears throat> I do want her to look like Molly. That's the whole point of me doing this. Just when I painted, like when I painted um, Wesley and others that I've done, I wanted them to look like their photograph. So people would see it and say, oh, there's so-and-so, there's Wesley. It's also a good, um, a good memory. A nice piece of art and a good memory. It's just, it breaks my heart that we don't live forever, really. We should live forever. But that's how it is in this life that we live. We don't live forever. But we enjoy them while we have them. And they give us so much joy. They need a home, so why not me, right? Or why not us? I don't think I've set the size of this canvas. It's a 12 by 12, 12 inches by 12 inches. I really like working on this size. And it's a stretch canvas, so you really don't have to frame it if you don't want. This is one of my favorite sizes to paint, these type of portraits.
my favorite part of the day when I can sit down at the easel and just paint away. I could, just, I could have a really hectic day at work, be so tired when I get home. And I sit at my easel and I'm just, I'm just somewhere else. My mind is somewhere else. And I'm just loving it. I'm just putting lots of layers of black and white. At some point I'm gonna, going to put some, uh, maybe like a burnt sienna because she does have some apricot, little light brown areas. So I'll bring that out. But right now I'm just putting the black and the white. <laughs> 